Hey y'all, uh, we got the uh, the mock-up done. Um, we had Rich come over and uh, you see the, the little index marks on there. Uh, everything lined up just like it was uh, when we transferred it from that wood. I got his helmet here and uh, it'll go right about in there. And his head was up a little bit so the angle was good and all this stuff. So uh, yeah, we can go ahead and, and uh, make these pieces out of aluminum now. And uh, we'll get padding on them, get them covered in felt or something. Uh, maybe not. If the aluminum, if the riser bit there turns out nice, um, we'll just rub some mothers on it, you know, and put padding on. Uh, same with the, the deal in the back. It's going to get bolted on to the back. The riser will be bolted directly to that fiberglass. And although his neck doesn't come uh, close to the front of this here, I told him we'll, we'll probably shorten it up and put some padding on there anyway, just in case. And we got mine over here. Uh, Rich indexed everything. I had him take like 20 pictures all over the place, man, you know. I even had him measure from here uh, to the steering wheel. Just so once he was gone, I could jack this thing all up, looking at the pictures, getting the angle of the helmet right, uh, using the, uh, the index marks, making sure it was centered, plenty of room to mount the old tank there, and get the same type of thing we've got for a headrest there on here. Um, it does feel like it's trying to tug the helmet off my head a little bit. So we might go a little bit lower, say a half an inch lower, and then, um, you know, with padding and everything. And if we don't like it, we can just add a little bit more pad to it or something. Um, but that's about how Big Daddy's melon sits in there. Um, doesn't look like there's a lot of room for the old red neck to fit through there, but that's, that's um, the measurement was pretty much dead nuts. And uh, all, the, all the detents line up, everything, uh, all the index marks line up where everything was sitting from the photographs. So um, here we go. Uh, it's sitting here like that. It doesn't look like I'm sitting up too high in the air. I don't know. Uh, but not a heck with it. We got a high-powered go-kart. It doesn't matter how high we sit in the air. <laughs> so uh, play it around. We'll end up making a, a riser uh, mock-up like that one for over here. Uh, tomorrow, some more hot glue gun and cardboard and what have you and um i'm contemplating making those those pieces eventually making all this stuff out of composite but uh, we've got carbon fiber up there you know we can we can do carbon too um i'm thinking we're, what we're going to do just for testing and, and trying it out um like i said spent some more time talk to ace again hey ace what's up buddy he uh, sent me more pictures of him in his cart with his helmet on so i can see what his headrest looked like and wear it where it sat on the helmet how far around it came uh that was cool thanks ace it really helps um but talking with him you know he says it's uh, uh probably probably a b good idea to, to just go ahead and make them out of aluminum and uh and do make any changes from there you know they're small pieces it, it's not going to take up you know a whole bunch i could probably make two of them one for each of these carts out of not even half of that whole sheet there so um making some progress uh you know, plugging away. We're wrapping it up for today. It's hot. We're, we're tired. Um, we already ate, so now we just want to sit down and do nothing. <laughs> God bless y'all. Hang in there. Look at the test dummy. He looks fast. <laughs> Cut it out, Rusty. I can hear you. See you guys. God bless.